So I wanted to make this video to introduce you guys to my new hamster. And now when I say new, I don't really mean new because I've had him for three months now. I actually got him back in April and I have just kind of been enjoying him to myself for a little bit. I just, you know, didn't really feel the need to post a video about it right away. I just have been, you know, keeping him and working with him and I finally wanted to introduce you guys to him. So here we have Fred. Fred is a Syrian hamster. He is a male, very, very cute. So he's mostly white with a bit of cream on his face and it is really hard to tell but his eyes are actually two different colors one of them is black and one of them is a very deep red but because it's such a deep red it really doesn't show up on camera that well so you guys probably won't be able to tell but trust me if you want I guess but <laughs> but Fred is absolutely adorable I think white Syrian hamsters are some of the cutest in my opinion. I really, really, really love them. They're very adorable. I'm going to put them down quickly so I can talk to you guys. It's a little hard to talk and hold a hamster in your hand at the same time. So we're going to put him down for a little minute. So as I was saying, I got Fred back in April. Now, if you guys are subscribers of my channel, you would probably know that that was around the time that I lost my previous Syrian hamster, Spike. So I still have Pumpkin, my other Syrian hamster, but he's getting very old at this point. Uh, he's around two and a half, and unfortunately he does have a tumor on his neck that they aren't able to do anything about, so I just kind of have to monitor it and make sure he's doing well. Just letting you guys know he is doing well, so no need to worry right now. He's doing just fine, but he is getting old. So I decided that after losing Spice, it felt like the right time for me to go ahead and get a, another Syrian hamster. I have always loved white Syrian hamsters. I think they're probably one of my favorite colors out there. I think they're just so adorable so I'd always been wanting one and then I came across Fred and it was just meant to be so now I have Fred my lovely Syrian hamster and he is really really great. So when I got Fred he wasn't super tame but I wouldn't say he was really bad it did not really take much work at all to get him used to me and even from like day one when I got him he never had a problem once he was out of the cage but he did you know struggle a little bit with actually like letting me pick him up but we worked on it a bit and now he will willingly just crawl onto my hand so that's awesome I really had to do very minimal work with him which was really cool. I've said this before, but I just seem to have really good luck when it comes to getting tame hamsters. So Fred is now my fourth hamster. I've had Pumpkin Spice, Henry, and now Fred. And really all of them have almost been pretty much good to go. Pretty well as soon as I got them. Fred is the only one who even needed the slightest bit of work. And even then it was just really simple. It, like I said, it just didn't take much at all. So I've always been lucky in that aspect. So now that you guys have met Fred, I thought it would be a cool idea to go and show you his cage and do like a little bit of a cage tour and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go and check out where Fred is living and I don't know what else. Let's just <laughs> go and look at his cage. Okay, so both of my hamsters live in these Critter Nation cages here. So Fred is on the bottom. You can see him down there. Pumpkin is on the top. You can see him right there. I just took Pumpkin's water bottle out for a uh, refill, so if you're wondering why it's not there, I just needed to refill it. But now let's go ahead and take a look at Fred's cage. So when you open it up, this is what you see. So now these bases in the cage are ones that I made myself with my dad. So they're just made out of wood so that they can hold a lot of bedding because the Critter Nation cages don't hold much bedding as is. So as for the bedding in the cage, I have a mix of aspen shavings, a little bit of orchard grass hay, and some KT Clean and Cozy. Over here we have his sand bath. He really doesn't use it <laughs> much at all, even though I wish he would. Um, white hamsters especially are pretty prone to getting um, little greasy spots where their scent glands are. I think it just shows up on the white fur more than others. But he doesn't really use a sand bath, but it is there if he wants it. 
Over here is his food dish, which he's currently sitting in. So I do scatter feed him in the cage, but I do like to make sure there's a dish as well, so that's what's right there. In the back over here, we do have his Carolina Storm Wheel. So these are around 10 to 11 inches. I think they're a little bit in between. So there's his wheel there. Here we have a little um, half log hide that he has kind of made a bit of a nest inside. There's this little mushroom chew over here. In the back, there is this kind of hay hide. I think it's made out, or maybe it's like seagrass, something like that. But, you know, this little hide back here. He, I have noticed, is not a burrower at all. So this cage with his bedding and everything has actually been set up for a few weeks. And like this bedding has been in here for a few weeks is what I mean. Obviously I've done spot cleans and whatnot, but he really does not disrupt his bedding at all. He kind of has made like a bit of a nest behind his wheel, which you might be able to tell, but he doesn't really burrow much at all or even really make nests. You can see his hide over here. The bedding is kind of completely undisturbed. So he's a very organized hamster, I would say. Then for another chew toy, he does have this little wicker ball here, and then there's also some natural wood throughout the cage. So back here, there is this piece of Mopani wood that he can chew on and also explore around, and then I do have some pieces of cork in here, like this one right here, and this one right here, and then over there, of course, is his water bottle. So this is what Fred's cage looks like, and once again, this is a Critter Nation cage, and these cages are around 864 square inches of floor space, so well over the minimum, so this is where he's living. So I wanted to give a quick little update on Pumpkin Molar here as well. He's currently eating out of his hoard, so that's what he's doing. But as I mentioned before, he is getting quite old. He's around two and a half. You can definitely tell that his fur is thinning if you look on his back, but that's pretty normal with age. But as you can see, he's still doing all right. He's still over here eating away despite his age. And as I mentioned, he does unfortunately have a tumor on his neck. But it's not bothering him at all, which is great. And, you know, again, as you can see, he's doing pretty well. So hopefully he'll continue to do well for, you know, a while longer. So there you guys go, there is Fred. I'm happy to 
finally introduce him to you guys because like I said I've just had him for a little while now and you know none of you guys really even knew so now I get to finally introduce you guys to him and we can all enjoy him together. Isn't that right, Fred? You can now be a member of the channel. So now that that is all said and done, I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. We would appreciate it, wouldn't we? Yes. We would. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is just in the description below. It's always down there. So feel free to check all of that out. You know, come and hang out on like Twitter, Instagram, all that. I would love to have you guys over there. With all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you all in my next video.